welcome back to a brand new video we hope you're having a good week and you're all doing well so we're just popping into sainsbury's we're gonna get a starbucks because yeah. in this one it has a little starbucks so we'll get a coffee yeah. and we're gonna have a look around sainsbury's we came here last year what was it autumn time yeah but we haven't been back since and they had some really really nice pieces so yeah. we were going past and we just thought why not pop in and see what they've got yeah. i do find actually that out of all the supermarkets sainsbury's does seem to have the most stylish bits out of like tesco's asda yeah. i think sainsbury's might be my favorite we have had a few really nice so, pieces from sainsbury's yeah. so yeah hopefully they've got a few nice bits we'll take you in and show you what they've got <laughs> Alright, let's follow April. Quite nice, 10 pounds. Some cushion covers. Got some dark wood bits. Dark mango wood bars for 16 pounds. And then you've got some tea light holders in the dark mango wood, 18 pounds. Oh, these little and bud vases. Is... What are they? Little bud vases, £6. Oh, pounds. Sure they're not cute. candle holders? No. no, they are bud holders. It's a bud vase. Bud vase. Oh, that's quite nice, that hurricane. Oh, that's nice actually, yeah. A candle. I like Obviously. that. I really like that. We're really into dark wood. They've got a lighter wood one as well. That's very retro, that it clock. Is, it? £14. Pound. Look, they've got it in a lighter colour. Oh, yeah, £20. I like that. A rainbow. Oops, that's normally me knocking stuff. Oh, dear, stuff. I better put them back. That'll be nice in a kid's room. Oh, I just yeah, done it right. again. <laughs> Love this picture frame. Oh, Mango wood picture frame for £12. Ooh. It's quite big. What are these? Little mini vases. They're cute. Quite cute and neutral. Bud vases, £12. What are these? These are all retro. It's all really retro. Yeah, is that a new trend coming? I'd say this is a bit retro as well. £16. £16. Oh, and that as well, £30 for that big print, the retro y print. There's a candle I like. Which one is it? Is it that one? Seaside Walk? It yeah. smells like the um, the White Company Seychelles. I can't get the lid off, but that one's really nice, guys. Twelve pound, and they do. Do they do the mist? Yeah. Six pound for that as well. Nice little bottle. Again, they got some blues. Blues very on trend, it seems. Cushions, Ten pound £10 for the cushions. Then you've got these bubble. It's like beading. Auto frame, six pound. A sort of very subtle blue frosted vase for seven fifty. That's a nice vase actually. Twelve pound for this tool vase. And then you've got um, some single stems here for four pound. Get quite a lot actually. They're quite big for one stem. I don't know how much that vase is, but the vase is quite nice as well. Lantern there, 32. That'd be nice for outside, actually. It comes with a, um, a fake candle. That's nice. So, just panning down this aisle, but we will show you some bits in a bit more detail. Sid has just spotted a wicker basket, and she's now thinking she quite likes that for her olive tree but that was double that's double the price yeah. 20 pounds it is really nice though maybe i can just add this sort of wicker or wood tone in, another in another way in another yeah. yeah um i quite like this this is quite funky it's just like a wooden that's ornament cool. it looks like it's like a sphere or circle that's like shifted eight pound that would be good on a coffee table book um, nice, that vase is like very subtle blue, £7.50. It's like a bud vase. Also, lampshade. Lampshade, 15 and Then you've got these blue frosted vases for 12 They're nice. They've got the wooden legs. I like them. Yeah, it's quite a lot. 50 yeah. 
then you've got these glass lamps down here with the sort of linen shade for 35 these are nice these hurricane vases with the dark wood 22 then you've got some greenish taper candle holders for £10. This is quite nice. It's Ooh. really soft. It's £16. £16? Yeah. Look. Yeah, I like that. It's nice quality. And then you've got a few sort of green bits. You've got some green candles there. Dried flowers and plum. £12 for two. I really love that. That's nice. I really love that. £12 and it's called a flower market so it's probably quite a floral one um, then you've got these tea light holder and table ca taper candle holders they're 14 and oh, 5 wow. they're cute they're actually got the um, hanging ba oh don't mum wants some hanging in. baskets mum's going to really want like them that would be nice in my bathroom so yeah it would it actually somewhere. £10 oh, wow. Um, then you've got this little bowl, wooden bowl, for £7. I love this really candle. Like I, was just gonna pick that I wouldn't up. want to light that though. I'd have no, that just as ornament. decor. Oh. oh, these are the hanging baskets that Mum wanted, I think. Oh, yeah. £9. I don't get this because it's a bit too flimsy to really style. It's not really holding its shape. But yeah, but nice. it would be flat on a table or something yeah, though, wouldn't it? Maybe it's that one because it's on the top. Maybe. Yeah, those ones so are a bit better. So £12 for that one. And then you've got this one that's sort of got the wonky edge for 16 It's quite nice. That's quite funky. Yeah. Some green and bluish cushions down here for around 10 or £14. That's nice. Spring Actually, cushion. £10. £10. Let's have a little pan around here. That's quite a nice pot. I'm not sure. Oh, no, it does look not too bad actually um how much is that one 14 is it and then 14 for the eucalyptus in the sort of gray stone pot nice. yeah it's not bad actually so then you've got quite a few nice like floral arrangements down here that eucalyptus is quite nice because it's almost like frosted does it say how much uh, pampas no. doesn't say yeah, a price for the eucalyptus but yeah no. they all look about four pound a stem i like those bud vases here like the tortoise shell they're okay. very nice seven that as well. yeah, how yeah, much is like that ten, ten. cute tea light holders it's like they've got their autumn decor coming <laughs> in guys <laughs> autumn decor yeah, it's sneak preview <laughs> Um, you've got some tulips up here for 12 but I think they look quite fake. What's that? Uh, uh, incense burner. Well, that's quite nice. £14. Pounds marble. Ah, oh, these are cute. Mum would pick them up and yeah. she wouldn't even know what she'd want them for, but Mum would pick them up. They're so cute. You've got a few cushions here, like floral ones. I quite like that one, Sid, for £8. Pounds. Yeah, £10. Pounds. That's a big old vase. That's a nice big vase. 22. 22. Nice so they've got a few different shapes in the clear vases. Some lanterns for 15 and 22 with the wooden handle. If you do a lilac for spring, you've got this really soft lilac and white throw here for £18. That's quite expensive, but it is nice quality. Then they've got a few mirrors, forty pounds. See, B and M and stuff have steep, those. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a lot for forty. Same with like these arch ones. I mean, you're not going to know the difference between one from here or B and M and Home yeah. Bargain. So I'd say thirty, forty quid is quite a lot. I think I paid. Did I pay thirty or forty for my big round one? Yeah. It was really big. Um, have we? looked at everything down there oh Sid's already spotted the Starbucks we'll get one after love <laughs> um these are interesting oh, that one's, pointy um, candles in the sale. Did you, did it yeah we did see that one there. I like the fact that it's a dark wood but I don't know if I'm a big fan yeah, of the shape it's a bit a bit strange we did this one didn't we 
so they've got loads of candles and reed diffusers and stuff like that but oh sid just spotted some nice wooden bits look how cute these dip bowls are they had them last year did they yeah i bought my friend at work um one of these bowls they're so nice 450 oh no that's for the dip bowl 18 pound for the tray are they all the same yeah they're really nice um there's some more wooden bits down here sid so you've got is that the same yeah no, that's the same like sort or is it bigger it? oh they've got all different patterns this year yeah they did different. have these last year but slightly different pattern it's quite cool so you could like mix and match you've got pizza board oh, in the green nice. 16 then you've got a serving tray for 12 then you've got these nice are they plastic no these are plastic oh, wow. they are good they quality like they almost even feel like glass so they're really nice for the garden and then you've got the matching jug as well um that's a nice lantern possibly for the garden but i can't see a price up there this is nice it's plastic oh. six pounds for, for the table be nice for some orange juice breakfast outside and then you've got a few blue plasticky bits for the garden as well They're quite nice quality 350 for the plate and then it looks like you've got matching picnic bags as well 12 and 15. Oh, that's like oh is it? Oh, wow. Okay, so you've got a rug, a bag, and the plates. That's nice. I like that, that you've got the matching. Oh, you've got matching utensils to go with these bits as well. So if you were serving like a nice salad or something, you've got like the matching tongs and everything like that well. oh, there you go they're nice £2.50 they plastic don't even look plastic that'd they've be nice gold, for a picnic they've got a gold edge. oh wow how nice are they oh i love them mum would like those. yeah mum would like those we've got some more picnic rugs here sort of neutral coloured ones oh and the glasses oh they are really nice really there you nice go there. for a picnic guys they look like glass and they've even got the gold rim on the top so yeah loads and loads of picnic stuff you've got all of this here this really colorful plastic stuff really good value actually if you're just after like cheap and cheerful oh, yeah. two pound for a pack of plates two pound for four bowls and two pound for four cups so that's really good oh i can see some more bits sid oh i love that Look at that garden sign and it's got the, you know, like the Christmassy cowbells. Yeah. Love that. 15. Welcome to the garden. That's caught my eye. Oh, that's caught her eye. 42. Is it eucalyptus tree? Yeah. Eucalyptus tree. 42. Like pot, but no, but you'd... Really nice yeah, you'd put it in a nicer pot. And then... Love that. £50 for that one. £9 for that giant pot there. Yeah and 37 for that tree there you've got a nice um lavender pot there for 20. some wooden looking ducks for 8 12 and 15 pounds they're really nice um just gonna spin around because i think there are some more garden bits here so you've got a few solar paneled bits and bobs here You've got these rabbits that are good for spring, £12. Quite a few LED lights. So mum's just bought some of these actually in B&M. They were a pound a light for her sort of pathway at the front of her house. So this range is really nice. It's like speckled like that, like a natural colour. So like the... Mugs Cups. are a bit big and so heavy. Wicker um, placemats, that's not bad. Two for ten pounds. Absolutely love that job. And the matching, um, they're matching. Oh, they're nice. Really nice. I still haven't bought glasses, guys. Haven't you? Because I don't drink any. I drink bottles of water. Or drink tea or coffee. Yeah. So I just have mugs. But I really like them. Yeah, they're nice. Are they coasters? They're nice, yeah. Coasters. Four pack of coasters for eight pounds. Oh, that's quite funky. A nibble bowl. Oh, that's cute. Eight pounds. 
So and for 16. They've got a nice cake stand as well, mango wood. This is similar to a range that Mum's just bought in um, Morrison. She's just bought all sage green. I think I prefer this actually. Mum's is a bit brighter than that, but I do do like Mum's. So they're all around three, love, eighteen. Love, love these. Yeah. And the nice these stack as well. Very nice. Twelve fifty for that. Twelve fifty nice for the jug. Very nice, and they've got navy, a really nice navy glazed range. And then they've got this sort of matte range here. The only thing with that, oh, that like makes me shiver. It's it's matte and like really rough, almost like a chalkboard. Don't know if I like that, and I feel like that wouldn't clean very easily either. Um, and you've got a lot of like mustards and blues, like we were saying earlier, like a lot of retro look bits and bobs. And then you've got quite a nice just ribbed, plain, creamy white range, which is really nice. Ooh. So the other love is £6. £6. And then that cake tin is 20 A few moments later. Hi guys, so we're back in the car sorry that we couldn't show you too much yeah something that we've never had before just happened which was really weird so the security guard came up to us and said excuse me what are you doing and we said, <laughs> just filming and he said why are you filming and we said for youtube and <laughs> he um he got the right hump with us apparently um, you're not allowed to film in there not allowed to film in there but we've never had that in any shops that we've filmed in before no and he said you'd have to have written permission from like sainsbury's headquarters but we watch so many channels of even people that don't do the shop with me videos that yeah, might say, oh, into a shop yeah, and... spend the day with me and they pop into a shop, film a few bits. So it's just it one of those is. things. It is what it is. Won't so... be going back there to film. No, so um, sorry, guys, because we do quite like the yeah, Sainsbury's decor. There wasn't that much in there, to be honest. No, it wasn't as good as I much, thought it would be. We pretty much got everything. We got most um, of the good stuff. There was a really nice blue like a pale blue kind of speckled ceramic like utensils. canister type thing it was a utensils pot and i think yeah. it had something something match in it but i can't remember sid was going was. quickly just, just, get, just it, get it just get it, get it. it. but the cameras look. were like right above us and they um, just told us to stop so we couldn't but yeah. really annoying but i hope you like what you did see yeah and it wasn't loads no uh, but while we were in there our friend text to say did we want to pop round to see her new baby girl so we have mentioned it i think on the channel before that she was, that expecting. She was expecting so she's had a beautiful baby girl and, and she's nearly two weeks old yeah so her name is darcy and yeah we're gonna, we can't wait to gonna go and meet her so, so we did so... manage to pick up some flowers yeah Good job we was in there really so we've got very some nice, nice obviously pink, pink because it's um, a baby girl and we know easter has been and gone guys um but we didn't get to see her over easter she had just had the baby but we still bought the little ones a little easter present each so she has already got a one-year-old who is our godson that we've mentioned on the channel quite a bit before so we got these really cute easter gift bags a little while ago from home no tk maxx but they've got them in home sense so he does like his books i think so we got him this really cute um caterpillar oh, easter is surprise still. the price is on it, it. Still. well spotted sydney brown so oh and then we also got him before you go into the next bag so he is um lactose intolerant or he's um allergic to the milk proteins in milk so we picked him up a little free from easter bunny so it's dairy free so that was where was that from sainsbury's, from sainsbury's. not sainsbury's we just went in no, not that i got one. that a few weeks ago got that a little while ago um and then for Darcy. I'm glad I kept the stuff in my car, guys. I said to Sid, just in I case know, because you never she's know free, you never know. We'll so I left it in my car. The baby. Um, so we've got Darcy, this gorgeous little Easter bunny teddy bear. Because obviously she can't eat chocolate Hasn't yet. Got a <laughs> Should we have a look? Um, don't I don't even say. know if that's the same receipt. No, I don't know if it is. Um, but yeah, very cute. Obviously Easter's been there, so very it probably cute. won't be in there anyway but we wanted to show you the gorgeous little outfits we got her so these will still be in tk maxx so 
Well, you say that TK Maxx has a lot of one-offs. So, yeah, but, so this I is Nicole Miller. Is it Nicole? Yeah. They've, yeah, it doesn't even look like We've again. bought that range before, I think. Um, so it's just a gorgeous little baby grow. It's got the little feet. Feet. And it's got a cute little matching headband as well. It's just so adorable. Cute. So this was six ninety nine, which I think is really good. Yeah, that was adorable. So that was we got naught to three months in that one, and, and then, then I think that one we got what, what size we got three to, three six, to six. So again, it's got a gorgeous little matching headband, and it's just so, so cute, cute with little strawberries, strawberries on. Strawberries. Um, and this one was seven ninety nine. Should we take the tags off? I don't know. They're going to be the fine. Are in there, aren't they? We don't need to give her the receipt. No. No, because she's okay. newborn. She'll fit in this yeah, one and then after she'll um, fit in that one. And this one's so got maybe a zip, take the tags so off. So it's easy to get on and off as well. I just think they're so cute. Love well, we them. say that, take the tags off. She's probably going to watch this video anyway. Yeah, so she'll, she'll know, know the prizes anyway. <laughs> so we are going to go now and go and see them all, give them their nice presents and flowers. Yeah. So we will catch up with you guys very soon. Yeah. Also, oh. got a flat white today. Did you? Yeah. Mm. Tried something different. And it's cute. Very cute. I got a skinny latte, but Sid said to ask for the blonde roast because the brown oat, brown sugar, oat, ice, oat, shaken shake espresso. espresso. Why do they call them such long names? That's made with the blonde roast coffee. So if you find Starbucks a bit bitter, just with any coffee, ask for the blonde roast and it's not quite as harsh. Do you like it? Yeah, it's yeah. nice. I do like the normal blend as well. But anyway, we're rambling. We will pick up the camera again in a couple of days. So we will see you guys again very soon. Hi, guys. So we have just been into our <laughs> Slimming World group. Finally. <laughs> and somebody has something to show you. I got my half a stone award. Woo -woo. Plus an extra half a pound. Yes. So I lost... Pound. I lose? Pound. Yeah. Yeah, you only need half a pound. Yeah, you lost so a pound. Done pound. So I'm Yay. feeling really happy and I can't wait to put this on my fridge today. Got a sticker for your book? I did. I got a sticker as well. I can't be bothered to get that out of the folder. But yeah, yeah. we're not going to do this every week, but I just wanted to show you guys. Because... Yeah, anytime we get a big milestone. So my next one now is obviously a stone and a half. So I've lost 18 pounds, which is a stone and four pounds so good and sid's next one will be a stone so if we get another certificate we will obviously keep you guys posted because it is exciting yeah and but. i know you guys are sparring us on in the comments so it's really yeah. nice so we thought we'd give you a quick update quick but update. yeah we won't bore you too much oh we also won the raffle oh, prize tonight yeah. guys and it's brilliant because i really wanted to win it and so did april because it was greek yogurt a big tub of zero percent fat Greek yogurt with yeah. raspberries and meringues to do an eat and mess, which we both love doing. But um, April won the raffle, and I'm actually going mm. to April's for dinner after um, <laughs> after this. So yeah, it's a win-win for me. And it's something that we have for pudding most nights or whenever we fancy something sweet on Slimming World because meringues are only two and a half points, I think, for a nest. Obviously, um, any fruit is yeah. free, and um, zero percent fat yogurt is free. So yeah, we love that. That's our little Slimming World dessert so, so yeah we had a good night and yeah we will catch up with you again soon but yeah just wanted to quickly show you yeah. that see you soon guys hi guys so it's now the next day and we've been trying to film this part of the video for about an hour but we just keep laughing so <laughs> we've just got the laughing fit so stay tuned for the outtakes because there's bound to be outtakes for this video guys oh, i just don't know why we can't be serious we just can't be serious so anyway so we're at a's and she just wanted to show you guys the cushion covers that she got from sheen which yeah. look amazing it's the first time i've been around in do a while and like they do them. look really nice and the bookcases i've seen it all together all done and it looks so good it does look good so yeah yeah so we thought we'd just spin you around and show you i also bought some fake books and they must be fairly good because i don't think sid's noticed them oh, i haven't even noticed them they're in one of the bookcases oh. So the good thing with the fake books on Sheen is that they're actually copies of proper books, like proper designer or interior design books. So that's really good because they're not something random. Oh, Sid's got the little baby. Here he is. Say hello, Jack Jack. Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, look at him. Um, I also got some artificial flowers as well. So you might be able to see them in the background. You can't anymore. 
There we go. So, yeah, anyway, let's stop waffling. We'll spin you around and show you what they all look like. I'll link them all below as well for you guys so that you can have a look yourself. Jet has decided to be in this part of the video because he likes being on camera. So, I will show you the cushions first. But actually, whilst we're at this angle, can you guys tell from over here which of these are fake books and which aren't because some of them are fake books from Sheen and some of them are real books and I just think they look so good if they're in a bookcase like this you really can't tell if they were on a coffee table obviously they'd be more noticeable but anyway I'll show you them in a minute so the cushions Sid and I have learned recently that it does just look so much better to have a mix of patterns and colours so it does look better to have like one of each design and not matching cushions. So I've gone with this really nice off-white and it's almost got like a beige detail around the edge. Like almost like a woven-y type detail um, with a dark grey stripe. And I thought the grey would tie in with the sofas. I didn't want to add too much more grey, but I didn't want it to all sort of not completely match. So got that one. That one is a 50 by 50 size. Um, and so is this one over here in the corner um, and the others are I think 45 by 45 and then this one is a lumbar size cushion so then I just went for this plain and it's got a very slight herringbone effect on it um, plain brown cushion and then I've got the boucle type textured one here which I thought was really nice. A really pretty floral one. I absolutely love that one. I think that's so, so pretty. And then just a plain brown one with a sort of pattern on it. So I really like how, oh, how they all look together. And then you guys might remember me saying that I wanted to add some subtle blues to the lounge. So I bought these artificial flowers from Sheen and I have got a few stems in there. I think there's about four stems in there. Um, and they're just a really nice muted sort of soft blue colour. So I absolutely love those. So I will link those down below as well. Onto these cushions over here on this sofa. I've got this plain-ish brown cushion here, but it is sort of slightly mottled. So it's sort of slight different brown tones in there then this one i thought was quite nice because it's a subtle stripe but then it's sort of got the little raised polka dots on it there and then this one is very textured and you can't really tell but the stripes are sort of navy and then this one here is a navy stripe but it's not very noticeable it is quite subtle so that one's obviously the same design as the one on the other sofa but just a different color so yeah i think they all look really nice and i just love having all different cushions i think it just looks so much more stylish i think it's broken it up as well it's broken up yeah. gray having all the lighter colors it's really like giving it a good contrast it looks yeah so much better than before and i know one of you did say and you were completely right but obviously i knew i'd ordered these that it did look very block color before because i just had like a plain black cushion yeah. plain gray and obviously it was planned to have a different mixture of cushions yeah and i think yeah, you've definitely gone for a good mix of different designs that go together really well. Yeah, and the quality for Sheen, what yeah. would you say? I would say you would not know that these were from Sheen. I was really, really impressed with the quality on all of them. One other thing we would say, guys, is if you want this sort of really plump, choppy look, then you do need to get the feather inners because you just can't get that same luxury, yeah. high quality feel from normal inners. But... I bought some feather inners from Ikea and I wasn't impressed. So Dunelm's always really good for feather inners. Yeah. And I think you get the yours I Amazon, get mine from Amazon or eBay normally. So most of the ones I've bought have always been all right. So, yeah, yeah good but tip. Ikea Maybe not ones Ikea. Were really, like, flat. They weren't very yeah. lumpy. Yeah. Right. So let me show you the books or the fake books that I bought. So... These three here are all fake. Obviously, now we're closer, you can tell from the top. But the good thing about, like I said, the books, the fake books on Sheen, is that they are copies of actual books. 
So we've got this one here. It says style guide, leaders in style, which I love. I love the sort of spine on that, the way it just says leaders in style. And then you've got inspired by nature. Wow, I'm impressed. There you go. And this one, I actually had the real version of it in my Amazon saved for later oh. list. So, yeah, they're copies of actual Gosh, books. You would not even know having them in your cabinet because no. no one's going to go that close no up. No one's going to go that oh, close up. Are they, no, they're not storage ones, no. are they? Some of them really are. Cool, though. Yeah, so if you've got a bookcase like this, then they're absolutely perfect because all you're going to okay. see is... The spine. And these can go. be quite expensive, can't they, these sort of books? They can be like £10 yeah. pound and you're not going to read them. Well, no, it? and they were a couple of quid. So if you just need some to sort of add a bit of a stack to some shelves, then... Yeah, also, I just thought I'd quickly show you, I've moved the orchid from my hallway onto this unit here, purely because I wanted a candle in the hallway and there just wasn't space for one in one of these holders because obviously with having jet, I do have to have my candles in holders. So I've put a candle holder out in the hallway and put the orchid here. And also, oh, this um, knot um, ornament here that we also got for mum, that was from Sheen. So I'll link that below as well. But I do really, really like the orchid here. So I just thought I'd quickly show you that as well. So guys, that is it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you liked from Sainsbury's and also from Sheen down below in the comments. Um, yeah. Also on that note, we are a bit behind on the comments, but we've just both been so busy with work, but we will try and catch up on them soon. Yeah, we just want to make sure that like all of our spare time just goes into getting a video out for you guys. So really, really sorry that we're behind, but we hope you all have a really good week and we look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye guys. Bye. Are you going to talk or <laughs> Hi guys! Um... <laughs> <laughs>